What's going on, people? It's Flight Sports TV. I appreciate y'all for checking with me, man. Hit that like button and most definitely hit that subscribe button. Uh, right now, I really want to talk about LaMelo Ball. Uh, it's just been a, a word out uh, on a video. You know, um, the Hornets. The Hornets haven't put it out, but the Hornets grouped up together uh, by the aid of Terry Rozier. You know, uh, we're going to get to Terry Rozier, the scary Terry. I think he definitely needs some credit. And I've been on the record on several, several occasions that Terry Rozier, even last season, he was the emotional and motivational leader of the Charlotte Hornets. That's what I noticed. When things got tough, Terry Rozier always stuck his nose into the fire. We're going to get into all of that. Uh, first things first, I want to appreciate y'all for checking with me, man. Uh, we're going to definitely talk about this later on. But like I said, I want to bring this news to the people early. Uh, we're going to break down all the cast, the characters that was there tonight. Um, I appreciate everybody who joined us on the live. The live was crazy if you missed it. Uh, tomorrow is going to be off the chain of Friday. I'm not even going to talk about Friday. Like, they should just, the, the, the Friday should just be named after Flight Sports TV at this point. Like, seriously, they really just need to rename the day. Instead of Friday, it's Flight Sports TV. Thursday, Flight Sports. <laughs> it's just Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Flight Sports TV. <laughs> that's, how, that's how this shit got to go, man. Um, but for real, y'all know what it is. Um, I, got a, I got a lot of stuff cooking for y'all. So let's talk about it. You had Kelly Oubre. You had Mr. Glass, Gordon Hayward. That's what you guys like to call him. Um, I really like this. Even though it was a group of young guys. Of course, Air, Airbnb was in the building. Kelly Oubre. I really like this. You know, it seems like I said, Terry Rozier made it very clear that I appreciated y'all for coming rocking with him, you know, on this workout. So you got to give credit to this guy who's already showing leadership on, I would kind of say, a young team. These players are pretty young. You know, you talking about, um, who are we talking about here? Obviously, LaMelo. You're obviously talking about Book Night to the World, um, Bridges. These are still young. Even the PJs. These are still young players. PJ Washington, I don't believe, was present. One of the twins was there. I did see that. Um, it, was, it was definitely some more players. We're going to get into every, every guy who was actually there. Uh, so, like I said, I'm just really amazed at the leadership of Rozier because you know, Boston, you know, you know, it, he left on a bad note, you know, Kyrie Irving, all of that drama. I like how he's kind of reshaping his career. He got his big contract and he's um, earning it on and off, as you can see. Um, so to be honest with you, the workouts didn't really seem like it was too intense in terms of contact. It seems like they was just getting to know each other early, gelling which I feel like a lot of teams should be doing this, which I do feel people on teams are doing it. We did see the Chicago Bulls put out some footage uh, recently that, um, you know, you've seen all the guys there, the DeRozans, the Levines, Lonzo wasn't present. But like I said, we've we seen the cast of characters. Right? We even seen my man, uh, Alex Caruso. You know, he was in the building, you know, so... I like what's going on right now. Like I said, basketball is on the horizon, ladies and gentlemen. I think we definitely all need to celebrate that. Seriously. When basketball is back, it's back. You understand? It's goddamn back. It's on us. It's like we're on the cusp. Like, it's like basketball is, is I can, we can see it. You understand? <laughs> and everybody's gearing up. You understand? So it's just, that's just how it is, man. It's flight sports TV. Um, we know what comes with it. So it wasn't no major contact. It seemed like they were just running basic drills. I, I seen guys in the weight room. It's, I, I tell you what, LaMelo Ball, listen, man, this guy is the truth and a half and some. We know this. Like I said, we ain't going to debate the, the, the potential and the star power of a LaMelo Ball. Flight Sports TV, we ain't going to do that. You understand? We, what, y gotta under, what people got to understand is... I love Lonzo, I love LaMelo, and I love Jello. Like I said, I'm a supporter of the whole entire Ball family. You understand? We got all kind of content on on here. You know, y'all go check that out. Like I said, I'm, I didn't see Jello. Jello was not present 
you know, I like the experience I've seen from Book Night. Like I said, Book Night being there is great, especially with these um, veteran players and players who've been on this roster. Is 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 just you you can't teach this this shit that he's he's getting right now. You understand? And Lord knows how many days they're gonna be at wherever they're at. Um, I don't have an actual destination. Like I said, you uh, you definitely see Lamelo Ball. You know, three, the three ball is money. You 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 see that. And then also they, he's driving to the basket. You know he you know he Lamelo Ball. He he's gonna be good at all of that. So when I say that this uh, drill, these drills that they did, this workout, was it like highly intense? Absolutely not. You know, it's very hard to gauge. But like I said, what they did was worked on plays and moving the basketball. And like I said, LaMelo Ball just looks like he just oozing with confidence. You know, so this is just going to be, <laughs> this is going to be an unbelievable year. Now that I'm seeing this from these guys, I'm starting to starting to, it's starting to make sense to me, ladies and gentlemen. I think that the Charlotte Hornets is going to be the surprise team, the Eastern Conference, and they're going to shock a few teams. I'm letting the people know right now: be on the lookout for the Charlotte Hornets with Lamelo Ball spearheading this offense with all of these numerous weapons, young and old. You understand um, when you're talking about the PJs, you're talking about the Kai Jones. The versatility is crazy. You know, you got LaMelo, you got um, Terry Rozier, and they're coming off the bench. You got the Book Knights. You know, you got you got one of the twins is still there. So this this roster is looking competent. Is you got Kelly Oubre, that's, which is an upgrade from what they had the pre last season that just passed. So with all of that, there's no way possible that they should not be a playoff team. What happens in the playoffs, I really can't tell you. You know, but I, I can tell you here at Flight Sports TV, they will be a playoff team. They are going to have to go through some, some teams. So I'm not going to be too enamored and caught up on, like, what's going on, like, with, well, like I said, with it, <laughs> you know, with, with this workout. You know, I'm not going to blow this out of proportion, like, oh, my God, this is the, the best thing since sliced bread because it's really, it's really not. You understand? Is is the guys working out? You understand? And it's not really much to tell until we see it on the floor. But what I will tell you, when he goes and lights up the season, I'm telling you, y'all be on the lookout for the Charlotte Hornets, and that's when it's gonna mean something. You know, Lamelo Ball is definitely one of my favorite players to watch. He's another guy, like I said, he's on the come up with a lot of young players in this league. I would say. You know, Luca's kind of solidified, but when you start to look at some of these younger players, you know, you know, you talk about him, you talk about some of these other young Cunningham, you know, these players. I think they all going to be kind of like, I wouldn't even put Cunningham in his, you know, in that elk, but, you know, you, you kind of know what I, where I'm going with this. You know, the, the top young guys in this league, you got to put LaMelo right there above his class. You know, it, Lonzo Ball was ranked. The um, I think fifteenth um out of out of the fucking fucking top twenty um players under twenty five. I'm not mistaken. So it's definitely something that we have to look at. You know, I, I'm not really feeling that. But I, Lamelo Ball definitely ranked high, and he which is well deserved. You know, but both both teams are going to do well the bulls and the hornets the crazy part is that in the eastern conference so we will see that matchup a lot more i know t i know people are very excited for that because last year we only had two matchups and they were spread way far in between now we can see so, so we can, it's possible that these teams can meet in the playoffs i doubt the playing it will have to be um a disaster on the, on the chicago bulls for them to meet in the plan but nonetheless, this means a lot for a young team. I like to see Gordon Hayward out there. When you look at some of these pieces, if they're all healthy, all bets are off, man. I'm telling you, this team could be dangerous. The main problem with the Hornets is going to be health. And that's what a lot of teams in this league, health is going to be the only thing holding this team back. But nonetheless, man, the the workout was exciting to see the young guys, um, you know, all, all all the players. You know, it seems like this team, the chemistry is like on on top notch. You understand? So I, I I expect to see all of that take and be seen on the floor. It's Flight Sports TV. Y'all be on the lookout. 
you know, we dropping things. We dropping a whole lot of a whole lot of content out here. We got a whole lot of content. You can get lost in the sauce. Check the library. It's Flight Sports TV. Hit that like button and most definitely hit that subscribe button. And you already know we working. It's Flight Sports.